The black can is a sacred symbol of the Mexican Mafia. It is known throughout the Hispanic community and the Hispanic gang subculture, including rivals. Uh, the Mexican Mafia adopted this symbol as its own from La Cosa Nostra, which was known as the Combination at the time. As it was, as it was explained to me by my padrino, the Combination was a group working the Fulton Fish Market and Longshoremen in New York. Uh, they worked these areas and they would steal merchandise, uh, crates and barrels and their hands were dirty when they would handle uh, these pieces of merchandise. Unbeknownst to these individuals, their impression or the imprint of dirt or grease on their hands would be left on the merchandise. For other people who worked in that area, they understood that this belonged to the combination and oftentimes it had black impressions or black prints on the sides of the crates of merchandise and they knew not to steal it because it belonged to La Cosa Nostra. The Mexican Mafia adopted this symbol as its own uh, and called it the Black Hand of Death. This is an important image for the organization. It's, it's been utilized as a form of terror, indoctrination, and respect and awe. Every Sudeño throughout the United States understands what the Black Hand is. Every rival of the organization knows what the Black Hand represents. Even the Hispanic communities uh, and a large part in California and the Southwest understand what the Black Hand means. This has become ingrained in the lore of the prison subculture, Hispanic gang subculture, and mainstream community. This is our one identifying symbol. Uh, it's typically the left hand that's pointed outwards in a tattoo, or a left handprint. It may appear to be the right, but it's considered that the left hand is insidious in some fashion. And this is why the Mexican Mafia typically uses the left hand to represent its symbol. Oftentimes, it's emblazoned with an M, or the word M, somehow integrated within the palm. I personally have one tattooed on my chest, and a variety of different members, a host of different members, utilize this symbol as well. Again, I can't emphasize the strength of this symbol. It's been so ingrained into the rank and file of our infrastructure that it is immediately recognizable and it denotes membership. Uh, it also represents a symbol of terror, and, and we utilize terror. I mean, often, this is the bread and butter of the organization. So everything that we evolve ourselves in, everything that we project, is a form of terror. Just the image itself is ominous. You look at it, it doesn't look warm and fuzzy. It is threatening. The, the tattoo and the symbol itself is threatening. And this is understood that the black hand is about death, the Mexican Mafia is death. This is a modern day murder ink. The Mexican Mafia is known for its violence. It will participate in violence and it will do it with impunity. Members don't care if people see. Members don't care if they get convicted and members don't care if they go to death row. All members understand this. It's instinctual. This is what you joined, a mafia. We are there to kill people. We are there to control. It's about power and violence. And this is ingrained in the psyche of every member and every Sudeño. The Mexican Mafia tattoo and symbol is considered a right earned by members who are inducted into the organization. For an individual to utilize this symbol, otherwise incorporating it in artwork, artistic expression, or tattoos, is uh, punishable by death. Nobody can use this symbol. It's almost as if it's a copyright or a trademark for the organization. And the rank and file understand this. Everybody understands to even write the word Emmet, let alone use the symbol of the black hand, is punishable by death. Without exception, there are no passes, there are no exceptions, there are no exclusions. However, there are females, facilitators, las señoras, who utilize this symbol, but they do so in a fashion that incorporates their husband's name above or below or within the black hand. And in this manner, they can state that they are merely stating that their husband is from the Mexican Mafia. But women sometimes do incorporate the word M or the black hand as tattoo body art. There are a variety of different symbols utilized by the organization, the predominant symbol being the black hand. But there's also a Mayan numeric system, uh, which would incorporate the two bars and three dots. The two bars equal five apiece, and the three dots equal three. Uh, cumulatively, they add up to 13. 13 has an alphanumeric correspondence which is the letter M. The letter M in Spanish is M. Individuals utilizing this symbol are typically Sureños and it identifies their 
adherence and adoption of ideology of the Mexican Mafia. The Mexican Mafia also utilizes at times La Mariposa. La Mariposa is the butterfly. Uh, the butterfly in and of itself does not indicate membership, but it is a code name uh, for the Mexican Mafia. Uh, we speak of La Mariposa when we don't want others to understand that we're speaking of the Mexican Mafia. Uh, there are a host of other different variations and utilizations of the word M, including the word emero, which I have tattooed on my bicep, or the word simply M, or Los Famosos. Los Famosos means the famous ones in, Spanish, in English. Uh, these tattoos, including the word emero, are often utilized by Mexican Mafia members. Uh, one of the tricks used by Mexican Mafia members in order to conceal their membership uh, is to incorporate the word or letters or black hand within body art. Uh, this is done in, in, in a number of different ways, including the incorporation of the word M, M, Emero, Mafia, within the design of Aztec headbands and artwork. In dark shaded areas, the Mexican Mafia members sometimes incorporate the black hand. Uh, but as, as many ideas I can come up with, there are a variety of different other ways. Uh, these symbols are often utilized by members. Uh, sometimes Sudanios also utilize body art. Uh, and at first blush, tattoos appear to be tattoos. But to the astute individual, you can see and detect his affiliation and the level of his affiliation to his tattoos. For instance, the word Sur, South Side, or Southerner is often incorporated by Sudanios uh, throughout the United States. But to determine whether this individual is an authentic Sudeño or an emulator, you merely need to look at his tattoos. If he's incorporated, incorporated Aztec artwork, uh, Mexican culture, uh, a variety of different prison-themed tattoos, it's easy to identify this individual as an individual who has adopted the ideology and surrendered his autonomy to the Mexican Mafia. A simple look at these tattoos will tell you exactly who the individual is. I can look at a typical gang member uh, and tell whether he's been to prison or not. It's, it's a practice. It's, it's a knowledge that, that you gain with experience. Uh, so these tattoos actually still tell a story. I mean, they're not simply body art. They're indicative of a much more nefarious uh, purpose and reason. The Mexican Mafia does not participate in graffiti. It, it is unheard of for a Mexican Mafia member to go sc scratching or spray painting on walls. It does happen in some prison settings, but it's frowned upon because the membership knows that it will eventually be crossed off by an enemy, thereby dishonoring the organization. So then you'll know this as well. They understand that to write the word M, even as a form of homage, is, is punishable by death. This is just unheard of in our subculture. With an organization, to claim that title is immediate death. There is no equivocation on this topic. For some of the graffiti that's been popping up throughout the nation and across the world, this has to be the work of emulators, as Sudeños would not conduct this type of activity. They would not participate in this. This is well understood among the rank and file of the Sudeños. This is a sacrilegious act to the organization. So it's obviously the work of somebody mimicking something they heard or a behavior that they believe is expected of them.